What's going on everyone? In this video today, we're gonna to go over the best squat variations and we're gonna break it down into technique, strength, and hypertrophy. So whatever your goal is, we'll have the best exercise for you to put into your program. So let's get right to it. Alrighty everyone, thank you for tuning into the channel and checking out another video. If you are new to this channel and you don't know who I am, my name is Aaron Kamesi, I'm a powerlifting coach athlete, referee, and meat director. So I make videos here on this channel to help out those groups of people. In this video today, we're gonna to go over the best squat variations, what I think are the best ones, and we're gonna break it down into technique, strength, and hypertrophy. So depending on what your goal is and what you need to work on, you can then go and say, okay, if I need to work on technique, these are variations I should look into. If I need to work on hypertrophy, these are variations I need to look into. And if I need to look into building up just general strength, then these are variations to look into. With that said, you always wanna work on your competition lift. So you wanna be practicing the skill, which is obviously the competition squat, bench press and deadlift, whatever variation you do it, whatever setup you do, whatever equipment you use, and obviously close to a 100 max, so you're mimicking the competition competition setting, but that may not be the only exercise you do for that day or in the off season, you may not even do the competition lift and only work on variations to build whatever specific issues you have and whatever goals you're trying to achieve. So for this video, we're just going to go over the variations. We're going to start off with techniques since that is one of the most important things. Like I said, you want to practice your competition lift, but also there's variations of the squat that you can do to help with technique for your competition squat. And the biggest issue I often see with beginner intermediate lifters is they want to rush everything. They want to walk out too fast. They just want to dive bomb their squat. They want to come up, whatever they can do to get the weight up. And so one of the best variations, I believe for the squat, for technique is to do a tempo squat. What kind of specific tempo you do on the way down during the pause and on the way up just depends on you and how you need to scale down the competition squat to work with a weight and a speed that you can handle where you can stay in the proper position. But in general, you can start as a beginner level as a three second down one second pause and three second up and you can do this beltless as well and work with lighter weights and just focus on the perfect position. So you wanna make sure you have your good unrack, your good rack position with the bar on your back, whether you do high bar or low bar. You wanna do the controlled descent, focusing on keeping the bar over the midfoot and trying to get that vertical bar path. When you pause in the bottom, you wanna try and hold that position right up where you normally hit depth and stay tight. You don't wanna be moving down or moving up. You wanna hold that position perfectly, back straight, hitting the depth that you want, and then you're gonna slowly go up again, going reverse in the position that you just came down in, maintaining that bar over the midfoot. You also wanna make sure that your knees track back consistently throughout the movement as you're going up. You don't want them to shoot back, the hips shoot up and you tip over, and then basically good morning to lift. You want the knees to track back smoothly as you're going up, and that way your hips and your shoulders rise together so that your torso angle stays the same rather than your hips rising too fast and your torso tipping over. From there, as a next level, you can take out the tempo for the ascent. So then you do the three second descent, the one second pause, and then come up as fast as you can. That's gonna let you continue to focus on a good position on the way down and during the pause, and then explode up so you can handle more weights and be comfortable with staying in a proper position with heavier and heavier weights. And once you get past that level, then you can just switch it to a pause squat. So now you're going down your regular descent speed, you're doing your pause, you can make it one second, two seconds, whatever you want, and then you're going up as fast as possible. So now you're able to stay in position when you control it down with your regular speed, and then you just focus on the pause squat to make sure you're staying as tight as possible in the bottom position and hitting proper depth and then exploding up in your normal speed since you can handle that weight and stay in position. That's gonna allow you to slowly build up your technique through each of those levels and with differing weights. So you start with lighter weights and focus on a slower speed until you figure things out and then you can slowly build up the weight and build up the speed until you can go as fast as you're capable of while maintaining control. Next up, we're gonna go into variations for just general strength. And depending on the style that you squat and where your weakness is, then this may differ for you a little bit, but you can still make adjustments with these variations. The first one is gonna be a pin squat. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna set the power rack safeties or even in a combo rack if you're able to set them up correctly and squat down where it won't tip over. And you either wanna set them up right where you hit depth or where you know the weakest portion of your lift is. Then you're gonna do your same setup, your same walkout as you would for a regular squat, but then when you descend down, you're gonna go down until the bar touches the pins and completely stops. And then from that dead stop, you're gonna squat up. That's gonna break the eccentric, the descent, and the concentric, the ascent those two phases and so you're going to take away that stretch reflex and then you have to squat up from that dead stop and when you have to squat up from that dead stop from either the hole 
or where your weakest range of motion is, if it's just out of the hole, then that's gonna help you build up strength in that range of motion. So for a lot of low bar squatters who are weak from basically hole to maybe a couple inches once they come out of the hole and the stretch reflex from the bounce goes off, the pin squat setting up in that range of motion is gonna help you really build that bottom end strength and help you with powering out of the hole when your hips are farther away from the bar and the center line. And if you don't have access to a power rack or you don't feel comfortable in a combo rack because it might tip over, it's not bolted down and stuff, then you can do an adjustment to this and just do a pause squat. So it's not exactly the same, but it's the same idea where you're going down to the bottom position and you're pausing there. And if you pause there for two, three, or maybe even five seconds, the stretch reflex will slowly dissipate and then you have to come up and it's gonna be more difficult without that stretch reflex and coming up from that dead stop. And similar to the pin squat, you can do pause squats at different levels. So you can do it right at depth where you normally hit depth on your competition squat, or you can come up a little bit out of the hole if you have a good bounce and then you kind of get stuck once that stretch reflex goes away, you can come a couple inches out of the hole, then pause, and then finish your lift and go all the way up. All right, and then we have the best variations when it comes to hypertrophy. And you have lots of options with this, and it also depends on what you have access to. If you have access to different specialty bars or if you just have the regular power bar, but anything where you can move the bar higher up or in front of you and move your stance in a little bit more as well so that you can focus on a bigger range of motion and hitting the quads more is gonna be helpful for hypertrophy. So personally, I'm a fan of the safety squat bar, but if my lifter doesn't have access to those, then I do a high bar squat or a front squat since it's a similar position and movement pattern for, like I said, hitting the quads, bigger range of motion, and then getting more hypertrophy out of it. With the front squat, it may be harder to get into that front rack position, and you may have to do some kind of variation where you're doing cross armed or maybe holding on the straps. In addition, it can often be less weight that you're doing on the front squat. So preferably, if you have access to the safety squat bar, or maybe a different bar, like a cambered bar, then you wanna use that. Or if you don't, maybe you wanna just stick with the high bar since it's going to let you do more weight than the front squat, and it may be easier to set up on your back than that front rack position. So there you have it, the best squat variations, whether it's technique, strength, or hypertrophy to help you build a stronger squat. So whether you are programming for yourself or programming for some clients, then you may wanna look into these, see what your goal is, what are you trying to hit? Are you trying to improve your squat technique? Are you in the off season trying to build more muscle mass? And then based on what goal you're going for, look for the variation that falls into each group and see if you can put that into your program, either after your competition squat or maybe on a separate day as the main focus for that day. And if you wanna hear me break down these variations and more with Coach Joe, then you can check out our Squats and Science coaching podcast that we have. We have an episode where we do the best squat variations. And so that one is a much longer format if you wanna go and listen to it more in depth. And if you wanna hear other tips when it comes to squat other than the best variations, then you can check out my squat tips playlist that I have right here on the channel. I'll put the little card for it above and the link for it in the description below. And you can go check out all the different squat tips I have and more that I'll be putting out every week as I'm doing more and more videos here on this channel. So if you like this content and you wanna help me out, then things that you can do is share this video with a friend who you think is looking for different squat programming tips or squat variations to implement. You can also like the video. You can subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos like this and then you can also comment below what your thoughts are what squat variations do you like or what other videos would you like for me to do on the squat so i can put those into my list and build out more videos for you guys but other than that hope you guys are having a good day and i'll see you next time